Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Woo! Doing pickups video. Got a haul from a pawn shop that this guy recommended. I was like at this one pawn shop, and I got my last pickup haul video I did. Um, it was that guy, and he's like, oh, we got another pawn shop, like, over here on, uh, blah, blah, blah Street. And I'm like, heck yes, go in there. Went there the next day, and, uh, woo! They had, like, 60 Atari 2600 games. Um, a lot of them doubled, a lot of them crap, you know, a lot of telegames. They had, like, five Pac-Mans, you know, some sports crap, whatever. So I didn't, I didn't bother with those, but I picked out 21 games. Ask the guy how much they were. A buck a piece. These games were a dollar a piece. That's a steal. I mean, psh, any type of game for a buck a piece is amazing. You can't beat it. So I'm going to go through 21 games. Here we go. Video pinball. Awesome. I, actually, I don't know if it's awesome. But, uh, I mean, you can't screw a pinball, I don't think. So this should be great. I'm sure it doesn't look all 3D like this. But, I mean, it's pinball. You can't. It's going to be awesome. It's fun. Berserk. An awesome title. Um, that I've seen for the Vectrex before, and I know it's really popular for that. I don't know how good it is for the Atari, but I'm about to find out, because I own it. Towering Inferno by U.S. Games. This one looked interesting. Never heard of it before, never seen it before. I was like, all right, uh, that's definitely something I'll grab for a buck. You know, a lot of these, it's like, for a dollar, just take the risk. It's not even a big deal. Towering Inferno, grab it. Dark Cavern. What's up with the shape? I don't know. I was like, what is this? I don't know. Like, uh, it's got like an adapter-ish thing on here or something. Somebody tell me. Somebody, see, it fit. It's like the same size as these carts. But like, uh, what is this? Tell me. Is this a third party that releases them this way? Or is this even a 2600 game? I don't even know. Hopefully it'll play. We'll see. Dark Cavern. Just has an end label. Got Moon Patrol by Atari. Right there. Moon Patrol. I assume this is similar to, like, combat, you're driving around shooting crap, but, uh, it's got a picture of an awesome, like, tank, like a, like a dune buggy tank, or whatever you call those things, moon landers, moon buggies, I guess you're called, but, uh, oh, what, Donkey Kong, that's an awesome title, I mean, when I saw, I was kind of confused when I saw this, it says, Donkey Kong by Nintendo, and then it says, Coleco, on the back, and then it says, for use with the Atari, I was like, Okay, what kind of game is this? Not sure. But it says use f for use with the Atari, released by Coleco, so I trust it. But, I mean, this is only uh, worth a buck on, like, eBay is what, it's, is what I looked up. But uh, it's definitely more of a value than that. I mean, you can pick it up for cheap, but it's worth... I mean, it's a super fun classic. I mean, you love it. Got an iMagic title, Cosmic Arc. Probably just like a boring space shooter. We'll see. Got an awesome space space center there, like, oh yeah, cool. A vid tech game, Space Jockey. Um, it's got a screenshot on the front, looks really gay. Awesome, check it out. Jungle Hunt, swing into action with Jungle Hunt. Has like a guy with a mustache, like an old guy. Like, he looks like he's from like the Indiana Jones movie. Like, the guy that's like, oh, let's go through the woods here. I'll show you guys how to get to the cave. Like looking like an idiot, but it looks like it's probably like, kind of like Pitfall or something, just because it has him like swinging, in the background there's like a couple like Indians and like crocodiles, yeah, it's probably a Pitfall knockoff. Alright, picked up Atlantis by Magic, when I saw this I was like, Atlantis, wait, I, I've heard of this before, this is worth a lot of money, Atlantis number two is worth a lot of money, worth a few hundred bucks, this is the first one, only worth a buck, but uh, we'll see what that's about, see what that's like. Picked up Joust. I've heard about this game before, and uh, I think I think people really like this game. Um, it looks really cool from the cover art. It's got like a like a wizard uh, knight man god on top of a, a space ostrich. So I mean, space ostriches are cool, and so uh, this game is probably cool. It's got it's got a puncture right in the label, but no worries. Oh man, this is probably the first one I grabbed. Qbert. Um, this is a Parker Brothers game, and I was really excited to get that, because I haven't played this game in a long time, and I was like, ah, oh, sweet, I looked it up, it's like worth like five bucks. Uh, the label's coming off a little bit right here, as you can see, uh, 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 so I'll probably put a little, uh, 
little glue that won't ruin it um, underneath there. You know, some of that spray glue or something. But, uh, yeah, really stoked to get that game. I mean, totally awesome. Super classic. Got Maze Craze, a game of cops and robbers. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see that that well. It's kind of a dark label. It has, like, a cop, and he's, like, running around the corner, and, like, there's a robber with the sack, with the money, and he's got the striped shirt, and, uh, and the cop has a baseball bat, because that's what cops did back then. They hit people with baseball bats. But Maze Craze, it's probably just, uh, just a keep away game, keep away from the cop or whatever. Uh, check out this title, Fast Food. I don't know if you can see that that well. It's a dark label. Um, but, uh, it's kind of hard to come by this game. I, uh, I looked it up, and, uh, you know, it's worth like five bucks or something. And, uh, I don't know what it's about. I haven't seen gameplay for it before. But I assume it's like, maybe like Burger Time or something, because it's, it's called Fast Food, but... It's got, like, burgers and pizzas, like, flying at your face. So, who knows what it'll be about. No clue. But, uh, it's definitely worth a buck. This title I've never seen or heard from, and this is kind of hard to come by as well. Porky's, released by 20th Century Fox. And, uh, the picture, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to tip it around, so. Tip in. It's got, like, uh, it's like, uh, looks like a first-person driver's seat game. Not sure what you do. It says it has different levels of difficulty. Porkies. Alright. Awesome. That's worth like, look that up. That's worth like five bucks too. Uh, I got Star Master here. An Activision title. Probably just another space shooter. Nothing special, but it's a buck. Reactor. Released by Parker Brothers. Um, I mean, psh, they did a good job on the label. I'll tell you that. It's like, boom, in your face. Exciting. Explosions. Explosions. Reactor in like cool word art text. You know, like word art when you're doing it in Microsoft Word, that's what it looks like. Like right there, Park Brothers. Picked up a uh, kangaroo for the Atari. Another arcade knockout from Atari. So I assume this might be like Punch Out. I'm not positive, but that's what I'm assuming. Because they have boxing gloves, and what more can you do on the Atari? So there's that, kangaroo. Demon Attack, right there by Magic. Not sure anything about this game. It says it's for one and two players, so that's good. It's always good to have more two-player games. All right, and uh, Home Run. This is probably the stupidest one I got. I don't know why I got it. I think I like looked it up on my phone. Like I like looked up a bunch of titles on my phone real quick, and like this one was worth like two bucks or something. And I was like, oh yeah, I should get that. But it's probably gonna be super gay. I mean. It's home run. It's a sports game. Why did I get that? Whatever. I'll probably play it once. But, uh, last one. Breakout. Ah, uh, what a classic. Breakout. Come on. You got, oh, uh, you're, you're moving. Oh, uh, what? Breaking blocks. Breaking blocks. Clear all the blocks. So much fun. I mean, I've played this on the computer several times. Uh, I've never played it for this, so I'm stoked to see what it's going to be like. Really excited. But, I mean, you can play this game. You could just, I can play this game for an hour. It's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, that's what it is. But yeah, that's all the tickets I got. That's 21 games. I got it for 20 bucks. The girl was being nice. She gave me a buck off. Super stoked about that. So I'm going to go back to that pawn shop in a couple weeks uh, and see what's up. You know, be like, hey, you got more stuff? What's up? I need more games. But for a buck a piece, guys, don't walk away from, any, from anything that's that price. That's a crazy good deal. I mean, a lot of people try to sell those for five bucks a piece. And I still would have bought a few of them, probably. But yeah, all right, guys. That's all. That's my big pickup haul for this week. And thanks for watching. Subscribe because there's always going to be more pickup videos like this coming your way. So subscribe.